Okay. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Greg from the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Today we're going to be making a caddis nymph. Uh, instead of using your traditional caddis curved nymphing hook, we're going to be doing this on a jig hook. This is a Gamagatsu J20 jig uh, hook with a 60 degree bend. And I'm putting a tungsten slotted bead here in black on this. This is a size one eighth of an inch I believe. Since we're not using the traditional curved nymphing hook for this caddis pattern, um, I'm just going to come back a little bit further onto the bend of this hook uh, to give it that natural curved look. I'm going to be using a brown, this is a denier 140. I'm just going to start off, lay down some thread on my hook here and cut that off. I just threw on some brassy chartreuse wire. I just uh, put it on the side of the hook and worked it back. And I'm just kind of giving this a slight taper right now with my thread. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to throw some dubbing on. We're using an SLF Whitlock uh, blend. It's a beautiful olive color. Put it on in small amounts. You know, give yourself a little shape to work with. But smaller amounts go on much easier than a big clump at once. Easier to manage and work with. We're just going to start forming ourselves a nice dubbing noodle here. We're going to want to make a taper with this body as we make our way forward toward the head. Once you got your noodle, we're just going to take this back. As you can see, I went a little bit further back than normal on this hook because I want to give it a little bit of that curved appearance. And I'm just going to be doing touch and wraps moving forward and uh, giving it a taper as I move forward. I can already think, Jay, of a ton of rivers and streams from where I'm from that this fly would absolutely work wonderful on. Um, I'm from the Sierra Nevada area, Tuolumne Meadows, and I'm already thinking Hot Creek. The caddis there have this beautiful olive color and um, it's a go-to pattern out there on Hawk Creek, which is near Mammoth Lakes. However, though, like you said, caddis are just abundant throughout the Western United States. CDC. Um, this stuff has a lot of action in the water, a lot of very, very small uh, fibers on each barb, um, very dense, gives it a very leggy appearance, a lot of movement in the water. I'm, a big I'm just going to tie that in up front. It's super dense. In fact, most of my flies I like pretty sparse, to tell you the truth. Cut that off, that kind of got away from me on that side. Just a couple turns. I don't need a whole lot of this stuff. I'm just gonna do, CDC's pretty delicate, so just take your time. Stroke it back as you're turning it. And with this amount, I'm probably just gonna do, I don't know, two turns, I think. Yeah, oh yeah. Usually two to three turns is all you need, depending on what kind of CDC you have. Now I like, my nymphs, like all my nymphs, I like them very buggy. I like a lot of action. I go a little longer here. If you stroke these back, I go a little bit beyond the bend of the hook. Some people choose to go a little shorter, so just measure your feather before you wrap it. I'm just taking a look, see how that looks. Pushing some fibers out. So they're around the entire shank of the hook. And then I'm just going to cover that head with a little darker material. And most of these caddis flies do have these darker heads. That's why we went with the darker bead. I'm going to finish that off with a four or five turn whip finish. Make
Make sure that's looking good. Got a couple of fibers there that you can remove. Throw a little head cement on there. Uh, keep in mind, this nymph being the jig hook, it's meant to be fished on the bottom. So it's gonna be hitting rocks and the river bottom. So I like head cement just to give it a little bit of integrity. Yeah, this is a great fly. Um, if you're going trout fishing in Montana, in California, in Oregon, this is a size 12. I would make these in size 14, 16s. Yeah, there's your caddis nymph right there. Greg, thank you very much. You're welcome and uh, have a great day, guys.